Hi, Luke from Korg here at Absolute. I'm going to show you the Cross keyboard today. So our new entry-level workstation, loads of great sounds inside, combi mode for stacking sounds, sequencer for recording, and an audio recorder as well, which is really cool. And the best thing about it is it's just really easy to use. So easy to use, go through the categories, quick recording, quick layering, splitting as well. So let's take a listen. Okay, so let's have a listen to a few of the sounds first of all. Um, and the great thing about the cross is the way that we can easily navigate the categories. So I can go through um, from, say, my piano or organ or strings or whatever I want to find. So I'm going to start off with piano, and then I can use my dial here to go and find the piano sound I need. So you've got this nice uh, piano sound here with lots of reverb on it. If I want to choose a different sound, again, just use the dial, go straight through. I'm going to choose a very different piano sound now, much um, harder edge kind of compressed sound. If I can find it here in the list. Here we go. Sounds like this. Now these switches on the left sometimes are used for just octaves shifting, say if it's a piano sound, but in this case I've got the second switch assigned to an effect so it's going to actually put it through like an amp model to scrunch the sound even more. If I want to I can bring in drums as well, we've got a built-in drum track so that's a drum machine. Every single sound you come to will have a drum pattern already associated with it. So I'm just going to start that off, start playing, and we've got a drum track. If I want to check out a different category, just use the category select. So go into organ now, and again I can use the wheel here, or the wheel to the right of the category select as well to select my organ sound because I'm in the organ category so I've got an overdriven organ here. What's nice about this is the Leslie or rotary effect is assigned to my pitch bend wheel here. So if I hold down a, a note, I can change the Leslie speed so it'll slow down, it'll speed up. So great organ size, sounds inside as well. I'm going to go to the string category now. I'm not going to pick a string sound. I'm going to go for a pad sound um, and show you these quick uh, layer and split um, features, which are great. So I've got my pad, but I want to split the keyboard now. So I want to have one sound on my right and another sound on my left. I'm just going to hit split and it automatically then gives me a bass sound down here, which I can change or even use a different sound. It doesn't have to be a bass just by using the category select. And now I've got a bass sound on the bottom. I can change that sound to whatever I want. I can change the split point, the volume, the octave of it as well. And I, of course I can bring in my drum track as well. So you get the idea. So if you like that, I can just press right, I can save that as a combi, and then that's my setting that I saved, or I can just press cancel, and I'm back to where I was in the program mode, so single sounds. 
Same thing goes for layer as well. So I'm going to go and select a different category of sound, this time a guitar. So I'm going to go guitar, find the one that I want. I want to layer that then with something, just press layer. And I've got my strings with it. change again the volume and of course the sound itself and same principle you can save it or just cancel it if you want to just go back to where you were great synth sounds in here as well so like this synth lead the drum track again You've also got an arpeggiator built in as well, which works very well on synth sounds, of course. So I'm going to dial through to a different sort of synth sound here. Um, it sounds like this. If I wanted to, I can arpeggiate the sound as well, just by turning on the arpeggiator. So you can set up different zones if you want to use the arpeggiator in different um, parts of the keyboard as well, which is really useful. Now, something new for us on our workstations is this, is, is this step sequencer which we have here, and that relates to these 16 buttons which are above the keyboard. Um, this is a great way to program your drums very quickly um, from scratch or use one of the preset patterns and then change it. And the way it works is as follows. So I'll just select something else. I'm going to have a different guitar sound now. Every single sound has a step sequencer pattern already with it anyway. So I'm going to press uh, setup and it shows me a map uh, of this particular pattern. So let's have a listen. So we're on the kick drum um, line at the moment and you can see here it's shown as kick, 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 and it will keep going through until I change it to snare. So if I take out the snare, it disappears uh, and like I said this is a really really nice quick easy way to program your, your beats so it's, a, it's another way to use um, a feature like the drum trap but you have more control immediately to just change that pattern exactly as you need Here's another example. Um, you can also use these buttons as favorites as well. So if I hit favorites there, these now become my favorite sounds. And you've got four banks of 16 of these favorites. So this is great for when you're playing live or you just want to save your favorite sounds. They're all there, ready to go. So let's check out um, a couple of these. So this is a combi. It's got a drum track. Uh, it's got a step sequencer going. What's great, of course, when you get into combi mode is you can start using um, your drum track, your step sequencer, and your arpeggiators all together. Um, so here's an example of that. So we've got a nice kind of string arpeggiator pattern with a drum track. And then a nice dubstep bass to go with it.
So you can kind of bring all these things together in your combination mode, whether that's splitting the keyboard with different sounds, layering up, you have 16 parts in total to do exactly what you want with. Um, there's a few kind of signature um, combis in here as well, which are quite nice, things like this. And some stuff like based on famous songs. And this favourite's really coming to their own, of course, when you're playing live because you can have everything lined up ready. You've programmed it at home and you think, okay, I'm going to go to the gig now and just bring everything back. So here's an example of how you might use that for a song so this um, I've sectioned this into different um, parts of this different song with different sounds so the first part of it I've got my electric piano there horns here and then an orchestral sound down the bottom second part of the song you've got just a nice stack of um, piano and electric piano and you can bring in strings later you can if you want to then bring in the arpeggiator patterns and drum tracks as you need so this is what it sounds like arpeggiator So you can use these favourites really to uh, build up your song very easily and just bring back exactly what you need in a live kind of scenario or at home in the studio. So um, that can be either program, single sound or a combi, combination of sounds or even a sequence because we have a 16 track sequence in, sequencer in here as well. And we have a really neat feature in here called quick record which means at any time you can just capture that moment of inspiration very quickly just by hitting record so say for instance i was in combi mode and i was just playing around i found this quite neat one the other day it's like an orchestral film epic kind of thing sounds like this so i'm playing around i like that and i'm going to think okay i just want to record that very quickly now so all i have to do is hit record and it will say set up to record, do you want to continue? Yes. There's my tempo, which I can change. I can change the tempo with the dial here or I can tap a tempo if I want to. I'm happy with that though, so I'm going to go with it. I'm going to press play, it'll give me two bars in and I'm recording. Three, four. <laughs> Recorded that now. Can change the tempo because, of course, it's a MIDI recording. I can go in and revoice it. I can go and 
change chunks of it, I can copy and paste it. And with all the flexibility of your MIDI recording, you can do whatever you want. If you want to, then you can save it onto an SD card um, as a Korg.seq file, which is a sequence file, or you can export it as a MIDI file, which means it will then work with anything you can play it on a computer, you can import it into any of your software packages and then start working on it as a part of a wider production if you want to do that. Um, so as an ideas capture device to sequence it is fantastic, just capturing that moment of inspiration immediately. You've also got, as well as that 16 track sequencer, an audio recorder as well. So this is recording audio because on the back you have inputs, you have a mic in and you also have a line input as well. So you can capture external devices, record audio that way um, alongside what you're playing here. Or you can put stuff on a SD card and then play the audio back from that. So I'll give you an example how that works. So here on the keyboard I've just got my string sound. And then on the audio recorder, I can press play. Your stare was holding, red skin too. was showing, hot night wind was blowing. Where you think you're going, baby? Hey, I just met you, and this is crazy. But here's my number, so call me maybe. It's hard to look right at you, baby. But here's my number, so call me maybe. So I can bring stuff in and out audio wise. So it gives me a lot more flexibility of recording myself, but also playing along to backing tracks as well. And of course, if you want to, you can just use the line in to plug in and just play along to your phone or your iPod or whatever you're using as well, which is really great. So that's the cross. Thanks for listening. Um, go and check it out in your store. Great new product and uh, see you again soon.